Hello everyone. Welcome back to Velaxi Technologies. In this video, I am going to show you how you can deploy a Docker container by using Ansible. I hope you guys followed my previous videos. In my previous video, I have shown you how you can deploy directly through the Jenkins. But uh, if your project is a complicated one and uh, it is not a best practice to use Jenkins as a deployment tool. So we can use uh, other deployment tools like Ansible or UDeploy. In my case, I'm using Ansible. So the process will go like this as usual again. So code is there in Git, take onto Jenkins, build it over here, build the var file, I mean to say, var file copied into Ansible, build the image here, push that image into Docker Hub, then your Docker node is going to take the image onto your uh, Docker, uh, Docker system and create a Docker container. This is the process we are going to follow. We should have some prerequisites for this project which is uh, come from the simple DevOps project three. You just follow that and uh, come here if you want to do this uh, particular demonstration. So let's go and see what are the prerequisites and what are the steps we need to follow. So this is the uh, my GitHub article where I have given the list of the steps you should follow to uh, set up this. So it is simple DevOps project three. In this project, we will see how we can how to use Git, Jenkins, Ansible, Docker Hub, Docker to deploy on a Docker container. So this is all we are going to do. For this project, the prerequisites is Jenkins. Uh, if you don't know how to set up, click here. It will take you into the appropriate video. Similar way Ansible and set up Ansible client and install Docker and uh, a Docker Hub account. I have already done this one. So first thing is Jenkins. I have already a Jenkins server. I have logged in. Second thing is Ansible. Uh, this is my Ansible server. I, I have to log in as a Docker user. So yes, you minus ANS admin. This is my administrator account. I have logged in. So ID. Yes, it is added to Docker group. And uh, service Docker status. It's running and the docker images nothing is there docker ps minus a no containers so this is my ansible server and uh, next thing is set up ansible client to install docker i have set up a uh, docker node this is my another system i named it as a docker node so same thing even here also i need to log in as a ans admin then service docker status it is running docker images no images docker ps minus a no containers so everything is ready to set up next thing is uh, my previous projects, if you want to follow, these are the links which you can uh, go through and uh, come back here. And uh, I have divided this into the uh, three parts because of it is a little lengthy session. So in the part one, we are going to see how we can create a image. In part two, I'm going to show you how you can create a container. In part three, we are going to enable the versioning. Okay, we'll, we'll understand detail one by one. So first you need to log into the Docker console in the first part, then create a Jenkins job. In the Jenkins job, what I will do, I will take the code from the GitHub and uh, build it. Once it is built, I will copy the artifact onto slash opt Docker. And also in this case, what I have done, I kept my Docker file in the uh, GitHub. So from GitHub, it will come to your Jenkins server. This is how it will come. So code is there in Git. From GitHub to it will come to Jenkins, your Docker file. From there, it will copy it into Ansible. Here, this Docker file will get executed and the var file get uh, merged with the image and image will be pushed over here. That is how I have configured this Jenkins job. And just to make sure this is my 
project and under this uh, project you can see a docker file right and i have explained my uh, about my docker file in the last video fine so here i copied var file i copied docker file onto slash opt once the docker file is copied we'll go to inside to slash opt docker then build that one i hope you followed my docker commands as well so build it tag it why i want to tag it because i'm pushing it into the my docker hub yes i missed to show you the docker hub so this is my docker hub i have logged in and i don't have any registries as so far so it is going to create a new uh, registry under Velaxi because my username is Velaxi. That's why you should keep as, it as a Velaxi. And then push this image onto your Docker Hub. So, so please remember, we don't use the Docker Hub public repositories in the uh, real time. We will use the our own Docker registry. We'll create a uh, Docker registry in our local server and there we'll store our images. We never ever store our images in the public repo repositories because that image will contain all your uh, applications so don't store your images or your project related information in the uh, public so once it is pushed into the docker hub then remove uh, your images from the local system because it is already there in the docker hub why we need in the local system we can just remove it so to uh, before executing this job what you can do just log into your docker host nothing but docker node and check the images anyway we just checked similar way in the docker hub we have checked in the docker hub also then execute job once the job is executed you could see your new image in the docker hub fine so let's go and create this job and we'll do and the i have added troubleshooting part because while demonstrating this i have seen some problems so even you can follow these uh, if you are ha facing some trouble while doing this activity. Anyway, I'm going to give this one in the description of the of this uh, video. Next uh, part two, I will explain in next video. So I'm going back, creating a new job. I have logged on. Okay. So I logged into my Jenkins server, Docker. Project for I'm giving so it would be easy Okay docker project for it is a maven project And I will take the steps from here itself even you can follow the same thing because I'm I have my project is available in public repository as well as I'm storing my images in the public repository because it doesn't have any uh, valuable data so that would be fine so clean install package so I hope uh, we are we did this one in the previous project also so send files send files or execute commands over ssh i want to execute the commands whatever i'm uh, copying now onto my ansible server so first copy your var file to copy your var file var file will generated and stored under web app target location and uh, remove the parent directory next you want to copy it into slash oops sorry so it should be here it should be here and the remote directory slash opt docker fine so i'm copying my data onto my var file onto slash opt docker similar way you need to create one more job because i'm not executing any commands over here this time you want to copy your docker file right because your docker file is under project from project to it will copy it onto jenkins uh, under workspace from workspace to you are just copying onto your remote ser uh, ansible server slash opt docker okay i will just show you opt docker location cd slash opt not this one ansible server cd slash opt docker 
nothing is there whenever i execute a job you could able to see a var file as well as the docker image right execute the commands these are the commands you need to execute these are the commands go to slash opt build your image tag that image push that into docker hub remove that image right so these are the commands i'm executing apply save that's it my job is ready let's build it build now and uh, we'll open the output and we'll see i hope it is going to successful so it is pulling the uh, what i can say docker project sorry hello world project from my github and test cases it is running but uh, i don't have any test cases i believe so build is successful then what it is doing it is pushing your uh, files onto docker so if you see ls now you can see docker file and var file and uh, docker images also if you see it is going to create uh, two images okay it's uh, not created are still creating a hill i believe yeah you can see here velaxi demo is created then it will be tagged it as a slash velaxi slash sorry velaxi slash velaxi demo and now it is going to push it into your docker hub again it is going it will remove because once it is pushed we don't require in the local system whenever we need that image we will get it from the remote server uh, sorry docker hub itself that's how we can manage our uh, centralized registry for docker images so i don't have any local images now because it's removed i think job is successful okay well done so job is successful we could able to push our image into the docker hub let's go and check our docker hub let me refresh it we could able to see a new registry and that should have the uh, velax underscore demo image yes it is a public even you can access but if it is important one don't do the public one and tags we haven't provided any tags that's why it will be a latest tag and it updated few seconds ago right so this is how you can set up uh, your uh, what i can say environment ci cd pipeline for your docker containers okay i'm stopping this video here and we'll continue in the next part there i will uh, show you how you can pull this image and create a docker container thanks thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in the next video